Hi, this is Mario with Mario's Math Tutoring. In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between interpolation and extrapolation. So let's get right into this video. So you see, can see I've got a lot going on here on the whiteboard right now, and that's because this video is a continuation of the video I did um, talking about how to find the equation of the line of best fit and how to approximate that line and then you write an equation for it. But continuing on here, we're talking about what's the difference between interpolation and extrapolation. Well, once you find that equation of the line of best fit, okay, which is this one right here, y equals 4 thirds x minus 13 thirds, you might want to use that equation to make a prediction. You might say, well, hmm, I wonder if I was to, you know, pick a value, say for example, like uh, when x is 2, what would be the y value, you know? We don't actually have a data point here where x equals 2. We could go down to that line of best fit and approximate it and say, look, it looks like maybe negative 1.5, and then go ahead and use our equation to find out what that y value is. Now that's called interpolation because what you're doing is you're picking a data point that's in between some of the actual data points that you got from your experiment or your study. Now if you wanted to find out a point that was way out over here or way out over here, okay, that's kind of beyond what you uh, took your data points for, that's called extrapolation. So for example, if I wanted to find out, well, what's y when x is like a negative 5 over here? Well, I could, you know, approximate, I could go down and say, well, if I extend this line, it would be somewhere over here, that's the y value. Or I could use the equation and put in that x value and, and find the y value. That's called extrapolation. Now, which one of those do you think would be uh, more accurate? Well, if you said interpolation, you're right because, you know, we, can, we know the basic trend, okay? We know it's trending up to the right. We have the, uh, an approximation of, you know, the rate at which it's increasing. And so if we pick a point that's in between some of these known data points, you know, it's going to be probably pretty close to what this line is approximating. However, with extrapolation, say, for example, we pick a point way out here, it's possible that the graph all of a sudden could level off or maybe even go down, right? We don't know what's going to happen way out on the extremes beyond, extra, extrapolation beyond. And, you know, it's possible that it could continue up at this rate and, you know, we could use our line of best fit to, to find that data point. But again, you know, just to uh, clarify, what's the difference between interpolation and extrapolation? Interpolation, think in between, and extrapolation, think beyond, either, you know, beyond the data points to the right or to the left. So I hope this helped you understand interpolation uh, and extrapolation better. Subscribe to the channel. Check out more math videos on Mario's Math Tutor YouTube channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.